drama as Bobriski in fresh trouble after VDM, very dark mark, exposes him in leaked audio. First, the bad guy, Femi Falana, EFCC, and Nigerian Correctional Services, formerly known as Nigerian prisons, are all also fingered in the allegations contained in the leaked audio. Watch the fire on the mountain. But before then, Martins Vincent, aka Very Dark Man, said that his aim for this leaked audio is to let law balance on a serious investigation into Bobriski's 15 millionaire Naira prison and mansion vacation after Files gave him 24 hours to clear his name. But a sharp legal threat from Files, Falana's son, forced a swift apology. Just like I said before, Otse's lawyer, Deji Adeyanju, stressed that there was no intent to defame Falana. The goal, simply to get authorities to look into Bobriski's bribery claims mentioned in a leaked voice note. But why Bobriski's mouth runs like Cameroon Dan? Yes, all right, in respect to Bobriski, what I'm about to post now, um, a lot of names will be mentioned. Um, these are people that I also respect, and I believe a lot of Nigerians respect them as well. I am very, very disappointed in the agencies that are involved in this, and um, I believe that this call recording that I'm about to play, even Bob Risky will not expect it. <laughs> that is what is crazy. But all the people that will be mentioned, I don't care. You understand? I don't care. And from today, no longer respect for all of you. You understand? Because all of them are the same. And it's pretty obvious that in Nigeria, the law only works against the poor people. You understand? Now, after this video, I would expect that the EFCC will do a deep investigation on everybody that is involved in this case. And also, they will bring the whole officers that participated in this and collected and spent this money that is involved. Thank you very much. So I will start by playing um, the call. As you can see, it is a call. Listen. Papa, you know, I'm a very big influencer. I have over 5 million followers on my Instagram. So, my Facebook and they are paying me uh, on my Facebook every month. So I'm okay. So they were like, yeah, all those money cannot still make me buy a house of 50 million and paying off. And we are staying in a Chevron, blah, 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 blah. The shop put the money in laundry shop. They charged me to court. So when they charged me to court, we had to beg them that, okay, if they want to remove the money laundry, how much would they collect? They said we should go and bring fifteen million uh, that they will remove the money laundry. Now, this is one part of the video. A lot of things will be on view. First things first, you heard it from Bobriski. Um EFCC charged them, charged him fifteen million naira to remove the money laundry charge that was charged against him. If you remember when this case against Bobriski starts, there was a money laundry charge, but from nowhere they removed, they dropped the money laundry charge. So obviously, Bobriski paid EFCC 15 million naira to remove the money laundry charge. It's crazy that EFCC claim that they are fighting against financial crime. Do you understand? But they are deeply involved in financial crime. So they removed the money laundry. Anyways, let's continue. There's a lot of things in this um, call recording to my friend i called my friend you know because i can't use my account i wanted to send money from my account but he said i'm still under investigation i cannot withdraw from my account so i now called a few of my friends you know polanco Lele. Mm -hmm. that polanco here yeah, is my favorite friend so i called him i told him i was like ah no i can't want to send the whole i can't want to send the whole thing he now gave me, I gave him my brother's account. He now sent 8 million naira. Wait, he can't want to send the same year. Yeah. I was even shocked up that he can send that kind of amount of money. He said, ah, I'm a Gideon, a very nice person. So, I called Demola. Demola in New York. He knows my friend too. Demola mm -hmm. sent 1 million naira. Because I had to call the people I'm close to, people I trust. The Mola sent me one million. Yeah, the Mola sent me one million immediately. Transferred one million to my account. Then I called other people because I can't start making call. 
because I, I don't know who sets me up. So let me not start calling the the wrong people. Do oh, okay, you understand? Sure. Uh, sure. So I call the people I trust. So the, the money shall complete the children. Then I remove money laundering. Then I took me to court for spraying of money. Okay. And I know that. The so you heard him. After I paid the money to ESCC, ESCC removed money laundry and they now removed that charge and took him for spraying money. Do you understand? So, ESCC, you people collect money to drop charges. This is. And these are the people that want to fight for financial crime. Tomorrow night, you're going to tell us you will arrest Ayabelu. Are we sure that if you arrest him, you will not collect money for dropping charges? Wow, ESCC, this is crazy. But, anyways, it doesn't end here. Let's continue. The old things, the old things started from, the old things started from when they gave me best female dress. You saw that video, I mean, that they gave me best female dress. Yes, that's yes, when the yes, old I things, did. yeah, yeah, that's when the old things started from, you know, jealousy, everything. Mm, envy. So mm. we shall, have, we shall have got to court. I shall have told them that I'm guilty that, ah, maybe because we even pity me or say, oh yeah, pay fine. I know. Or, or community service. Sadly, the court sentenced me. So, you know, I was on my way to the prison. Then my godfather called me and said, You will not enter that prison. Don't worry. Let me make arrangements for an apartment close to the prison. That is going to call the, um, is going to call the controller in my, that's overall in Nigeria and Abuja. And I'm talk to them. They shall talk before I come back, child. They now took me to one apartment that I must not come out till I finish my sentence. That's so fast. That they, um, that the Oga, the Oga said they should that. come out. The Oga said they should come and keep me here. That I mustn't, uh, I mustn't go like enter data, but nobody should know that I'm not there. Yes. You know. So they said the guy will call him money. You wanted to give them seven. Wait, 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 wait. Who is this Bob Risky's godfather that called the controller general of prison in Abuja and instructed him that he should not let Bob Risky to enter prison? And the controller general of prison now gave Bob Risky an apartment outside the prison. Do you understand? An apartment outside the prison that he should act, he should stay there and he will not enter the prison. So, Bobriski didn't go to prison, obviously. Basically, the prison, obviously, is for the poor men and for the poor masses. So, this is how the ESCC come and lie to us. Say they don't probe somebody, they don't arrest one big man for financial crime. But, they go no go arrest the man, they no go sentence him, or carry him. Go give him one law somewhere, and he no go enter prison. This is what is going, going on in Nigeria. Do you understand? The law is only against the common and the poor men. Now, only poor man, they go to prison. But Bob Risky, one godfather somewhere, that godfather, you will come out. And the controller of prisons, the controller general of prisons, you have to come out and defend this. If not, me, I will continue running your name online, the controller general of prisons. So, this is how they call you to remove prisoners, eh? After the court have sentenced a prisoner, you will remove them. But that's not all. Let's continue. Like me, don't I had to call Elena and Because there's nobody for me to call. Elena gave me. Uh, give me one, uh, two million, the balance of two million. So now the, so I'm supposed to come out in, um, I'm supposed to come out in what's it called, ending of July next month. Okay. Twenty nine. Bad guy. His father is a is a son. So first reach out to me. His father spoke to me. His father said we can apply for pardon. Okay. That pardon the president because you know it's Wait, Faust the bad guy. I can't even believe this. Faust the bad guy contacted Bob Risky and Femi Falano contacted his father and his father, Femi Falano, spoke to Bob Risky in order to divert justice. And this same Faust, if this story is true, this same Faust will have the audacity to come out and say he's fighting against the government for oppression. That I want justice, you want Nigeria to be better. So that like this, you they carry yourself. I don't want to believe that Femi Falano will bring himself down to this level. A whole Femi Falano, where be Fela lawyer, where we respect 
Femi Falano will engage himself in something like this? Wait a minute, what is the relationship between Faust and Bobriski? Have you Faust said they do? Oh. Okay. Who are we to by the homosexual? Most of them are done, they evolve from time. Everybody. No, oh, now that song they make sense to me. Wait. Are they false self they do? This is crazy. Well, anyways, let's continue. Hey, now wow. Nigeria. Uh, it's okay. Fedra that uh, my 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 kiss is Fedra. That's so that the Fedra can actually pardon me. That's the president that he can do it. That I, if, it, if they pardon me, I can even leave here by next week. Do you understand? I don't have to wait till like uh, ending of next month. Okay. okay, so the man started the pardon. He said he wants to send it to the uh, Minister of Justice in Abuja. So, Minister of Justice will now send it to President to approve it. But you know, Nigeria now, Nigeria with the corruption and everything, you take it fast to him that the man, they have said they will collect 10 million naira for him to get yes, that, that pardon will clear my name. Of the record, of the record, which is not yes. bad. That which exactly. So, you know, there's nobody to call because, like, I have friends so but you know, you don't know who sets you up, you know, and they've not open my. All right. So based on this first voice notes, based on Bobriski's narration in this uh, phone call, Bobriski is saying that Femi Falano collected ten million naira in order to wipe his name off the record. Wow, these are people I respected. These are people I look up to. Found the bad guy always talking about, yeah, I'm speaking up for the people. So you are also involved in things like this. It's really, really disappointing. It's obvious that Nigeria might not go anywhere anytime soon. It's obvious. Say Nigeria, I have lost 100% respect. Respect for this. Unless if they come and come defend this one, sin and lie. But for now, uh, we we'll take what Bobriski is saying as the truth because Bobriski said all these things like he contacted uh, somebody to borrow him money and the person recorded everything. Now, uh, just in case uh, Bobriski go on argue, let me drop. Zero eight. That's how your number ends with. So this is you. Actually, you cannot deny anything. So EFCC, I will expect you people to bring to do a deep investigation and bring all the people involved to the doormat of justice. If you know you truly fight against financial crime, and this particular crime went deep down inside your own custody, and it's really crazy. And the controller general of prison, I don't know. I don't know what it happened, but it's almost as if, yes, I want to know the Godfather and why the controller of prison allowed them, instead of putting Bobriski in a correctional facility, they took him and gave him a lodge outside the prison. I don't know that it's allowed. I didn't know that was allowed. But anyways, there are more videos to come. Do you understand? This is just part one. Test. Part one. We'll see where part two they be. Don't play. <laughs> you gotta learn. I will learn the hard way. I don't care. Don't play. Bobriski, the mummy of Lagos, was never in prison. Bobriski was chilling in an apartment. And when Bobriski was in that apartment, he was chatting with me. You all know that I never support very dark black man. But on this case, I am backing very dark man up. Bobriski was never in prison. As a matter of fact, you all know that I've been supporting Bobriski. I defended him when very dark black man called him out as G-A-Y. When very dark black man called him a transgender and older. I came out, I defended him because I do not like seeing people oppressed, irrespective of their sexuality. But you know what? But Brisky is an ungrateful person. He doesn't keep to his words. But Brisky never compensated me for everything I did for him on social media. I defended him a couple of times and you guys know that. He's an ungrateful person and I'm here with proof. He never ever went to prison. Check out the voice notes Bobriski sent me when he was in an apartment, chilling like a villain. Hi, good morning. How are you? 
let's see i i'm really grateful i'm really really grateful god bless you i see everything you do i see all your posts people have been telling me or this guy has been saying good things about you has been posting you thank you so much i'm fine like i'm very very fine so don't be worried don't um don't be stressed i'm really fine don't worry i'll tell you some things probably when i'm when uh, i'm in position to explain to you better i would explain uh everything to you you know but i'm very fine like i'm very very fine so i'm okay I know people are people are scared, they're worried. Oh but is in the prison, but is this. <laughs> I'm very okay. I'm fine. Um thank you so much. Thank you one more time for everything you've been doing. God bless you. Uh it's so sad that um I was asked not to post anything. If not, I would have reposted all your videos and I'll post everything. I appreciate you, but immediately when it is time for me to do that, that will be the first thing I'm gonna do. Thank you and have a wonderful day. You're a star and nothing will stop your shine, trust me. All these people saying rubbish on the internet, they're not rich now. They're not rich. They're just online blabbing. Blabbing. Internet warriors. Keep at warriors. Keep living, keep doing your thing. God got you. I'm happy you are fine. That's the voice of Bob Risky. And myself conversing in a voice note. But Brisky said to me that I shouldn't worry that a lot of people are thinking he's in prison, but he's not. But Brisky never ever went to prison. Him coming out to say that Very Dark Man lied and saying that the voice in that voice note Very Dark Man played wasn't his. It's a big joke. That was Bob Brisky speaking to someone. You can also compare that voice note played by Very Dark Man and this voice note I played and you will tell that it was Bob Brisky. Bob Brisky was never ever in prison. And trust me, Bob Brisky took that 4 million naira from that guy and didn't want to refund him. Because Bob Brisky does not keep to his words. Bob Brisky was meant to compensate me for defending him online, but he never did. That's to show you that Bobrisky never ever keeps to his words. Bobrisky is a manipulator. Bobrisky is not a sincere person. And if you ever want to do business with Bobrisky, be careful because he is not reliable. I've got another evidence of Bobrisky being in an apartment and I'm going to play it now with the chats he sent to me that period as well. Check it out guys. That's Bob Risky, chilling in an apartment when we thought he was in prison. That was why he came out with so many pictures because basically he was just there chilling and going to the studio to take pictures to pepper us when he comes out. But he was never in prison. That was why Bob Risky had a lot of pictures to post when he came out. Bob Risky had 15 million naira to spend on cake he spent a lot of money on doing his party when he came out, but he never kept to his words. He never compensated me. That shows he is not a reliable person. But Brisky was chilling in an apartment. He never ever went to prison. I applaud very dark black man for covering this and I am backing him up on this. I'm saying it categorically that Bob Brisky never went to prison. I'm an OG. That's why I'm saying this to you. And I can't keep repeating myself. Feel free to like, share, and comment your mind on top every of our stories. And most important, make you hit the subscribe button today for more to read.